it is also a one mark question that says dimethylol dihydroxythylene urea dmdhu is a crease resist agent flame retardant softener option d soil repellent so if you have read what is a dmdhu so dmdhu is generally used in is a chemical that is generally used in durable press finish and uh, it helps in cross linking and so on and so forth kind of thing and during the durable press finish and uh, and it uh, is used as a crease resist agent that helps in the removal and minimization of creases by the formation of cross links and it is used in wrinkle and crease res uh, crease uh, resist agent also so option a is the correct answer so dmdhu is used as a crease resisting agent whereas uh, in flame retardant agents phosphorus uh, substances are used and softeners and soil repellents uh, soil repellency is generally occurs in synthetic fibers that is polyester and uh, softeners these are basically uh, chemical softeners natural softeners they are different kinds of softeners that are used so basically dmdhu is used in wrinkle recovery and crease resist agent so option a is the correct answer now coming to the next question so it is also a one mark question it is an nat type of question that says assuming the atomic mass of hydrogen to be 1 carbon 12 nitrogen 14 oxygen 16 the molecular mass of a repeat unit of nylon 6 fiber is so these are all one mark nat question nat type of question numerical type so generally one mark numerical type of question that are asked in tf textiles are comparatively sim very simple and straight forward formula based questions so you just need to clear with the basics part and you can answer these questions very easily so in this question if you know what is the formula for nylon 6 repeat fiber then you can simply calculate the atomic mass thereafter you can uh, find the answer as well the molecular mass of a repeat unit so what is the formula for nylon 6 nylon 6 fiber is generally produced from caprolactam and uh, whereas nylon 66 is produced from adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine uh, so uh, caprolactam is used as a uh, raw material for nylon 6 fiber so coming to the repeat unit of nylon 6 fiber so the formula for nylon 6 is ch2 ki power 5 co here nh so this is the basic repeat unit of nylon 6 just uh, you should know what is the repeat unit now you can easily answer this question now how to find that see uh, how many carbon elements to c ki power 5 c6 c6 hydrogen 10 11 H11 and if we talk about uh, 10 11 if we talk about oxygen then oxygen is 0 and uh, if we talk about nitrogen then n so this is a structure so if we calculate it directly then we can say that for nh it is 14 plus 1 plus ch2 is 12 plus 2 14 ch2 the weight of ch2 is 40 not 40 it is 14 that is ch2 12 plus 2 14 So 14 plus uh, 14 into 5 plus 14 into 5 plus C O C is 12 and O is 16. So 12 plus 16 it is 12 plus 16. So if you calculate 15 plus 70 plus 12 plus 16, if you add all of these values, then it comes out to be 113. so 113 becomes the repeat unit molecular mass of the repeat unit of nylon 6 fiber so 113 is the answer i think you have understood uh, uh, 
this is very simple part just you need to know ki what is the uh, repeat what is the formula of structure for nylon 6 you also should focus on what is the um, repeat unit of pvc and nylon 6 also nylon 66 and uh, polyester and so these synthetic fibers uh, structure you should also know because uh, every year they ask questions related to these types of questions now coming to the next question this question says a textile filament records a tensile stress of 0.3 gpa at a tensile strain of 0.04 assuming hookean behavior the tensile modulus in gpa of a filament rounded off to one decimal place is so what you have to find in this one mark and any type of question you have to find the tensile modulus so tensile the formula for tensile modulus what is written as what is given as tensile stress to be 0.3 gpa whereas tensile strain is given to be 0.04 so if you know the formula for tensile modulus it is tensile stress upon tensile strain tensile stress upon so if you calculate it is 0.3 upon 0.04 gpa if you solve this it comes out to be 7.5 gpa so 7.5 is the correct answer rounded off to one decimal place it is 7.5 so it becomes your answer i think it must be clear to you Uh, it is also a very simple question now coming to the next question the number of fibers each of 40 mm length and 0.16 tex fineness in a tuft of 24 mg mass is so you have to find the number of fibers it is also a one mark question so it is a direct uh, simple math textile calculation so what is the length of single fiber so it is 40 mm it is written and what is the mass it is 24 mg so if we write mass of tuft mass of tuft is given as 24 mg if we write it in grams so it becomes 24 into 10 ki power minus 3 g and fiber fineness is given as 0.16 tex means fineness is given as 0.16 tex we can write tex as gram per 1000 meter this is the unit for tex it is gram per 1000 meter and what is the unit for denier it is gram per 9000 meters so if uh, it is the length for 1000 meters so if we have to calculate for weight of 40 mm length fiber then it comes out to be 40 mm means 40 into 10 ki power minus 3 meter into what is the fineness for this 0.16 gram upon 1000 meter so meter to meter got cancelled and you can solve this in grams so if you will solve this 0.16 into 40 into 10 ki power minus 3 gram so how you will calculate the number of fibers number of fibers means mass of tuft upon weight of 40 mm length fiber so mass of tef, tuft is given as to be 24 into 10 ki power minus 3 grams since number of fibers is uh, asked then the un, there will be no units because it is a number and divided by 0.16 into 40 into 10 ki power minus 3 gram so gram to gram got cancelled and what we are left with is if you will solve it will also get cancelled and uh, 
if you will solve 5 6 10 and when you will solve then it comes out to be 3 7 5 0 these are the number of fibers present in this 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 mass and particular fineness i think it must be clear to you now coming to the next question this is also a one mark NAT type of question. It is said that twist per inch of a cotton yarn of 36 any count produced with a twist multiplier of 3.5 per inch um, into under root of any is. So you have to find twist per inch means TPI. If you know the formula for twist per inch, twist per inch is equal to twist multiplier into under root of count in indirect count means under root of any so you have to find twist multiplier is given as 3.5 into under root of any is under root of 36 it is yarn count in indirect form so if you will solve that 3.5 root 36 is 6 so it will come out to be 773 is 21 so TPI is 21 and it is the answer you have to answer in integer or any form so 21 is the right answer I think it is clear to you now coming to the next numerical type question so if you see if you notice the pattern of gate examination then you can easily find that they ask in a similar pattern every year every year or then the patterns are repeated and the questions are modified in one or the other form so if you focus on basics and if you focus on your fundamentals then you can easily answer these questions very clearly now coming to the next question in winding if the traverse speed and the package surface speed are same then the angle of wind in degree is so this is a fabric manufacturing type numerical nat question so it is also a one mark question so if you know in winding process the angle of wind that is represented by theta so tan theta is equal to vd upon vs so if vd and vs is package surface speed and traverse speed so uh, if this traverse speed and the package surface speed are same so both are same since both are same then the value comes out to be 1 so you have to find the angle of the angle of wind angle so in this case tan theta is equal to 1 theta is equal to tan 45 degree so theta becomes 45 degree and this is your answer you have to write in degrees if it is asked in radians then you have to divide by 180 then you can find the radian so it is asked in degree so the answer will be 45 i think it is clear to you now coming to the next question